Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Chuko Fili and this is the final installment from our series setting up a $65 production grade Kubernetes server or cluster on DigitalOcean. Now remember, most of the tutorials or some of the tutorials in this series can be installed on a bare metal Kubernetes cluster or Google Kubernetes engine or Amazon Kubernetes engine. Now let's dive into it. Today what we're going to be focusing on is installing Cert Manager which will enable us to automate SSL certificates backed by Let's Encrypt. Normally when you configure your ingress resources to tie your domain name as a refresh proxy to your deployment, we usually have to go vend SSL certificates on our own and come and configure it, configure it apologies, in our cluster. So today what we're going to focus on is how we can automate that so that once we deploy or set up an ingress URL, within an ingress resource, our uh, SSL certificate will be automatically vended and configured for our cluster. So let's go. The first things first is we're going to check to make sure that we have our current context. My own context is tutorial, which is the cluster that I'm using for our current tutorial. And as you can see, we have correct context set properly and I can get pods from our cube system so everything seems to be great now the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to use helm to install cert manager okay remember in our last tutorial we installed helm if you have or want to install helm again look at one of the previous videos about installing helm and that will take us through how we can install helm another prerequisite by the way if i might add is also making sure you have an engine x ingress resource installed on your cluster as well okay all right so let's install cert manager and we need to install it in the q namespace Cube system namespace apologies. And we need to give it a name as well. Okay. And finally, we need to install it from the stable repository or stable channel. Great, so we have Cert Manager currently installed. Uh, what we're going to do is just wait for it to kick off. All right, so we have everything running and everything is in our desired states and everything is a okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to deploy an issuer all right now the way cert manager works is that you have the actual deployment and then you have cluster issuers or you have issuers issuers are per namespace cluster issuers are uh, depend not dependent on namespace which means they'll work cluster wide okay so the cluster issuer for us today will be let's encrypt and that's where free SSL certificates are issued from so we want to take advantage of those um, I'm just gonna copy that code or better still I'm just gonna grab that off here so let's look for a directory on our system where we can get these files I already have a temporary directory I'm gonna get that file okay so I'm gonna use uh, VS Code to edit. Essentially what I'm trying to do is I need to make sure that the email address for both accounts are my email address as you can see. Okay so this is a private key ref. So what I'm telling Let's Encrypt or what I'm telling the cert manager to do is issue a cluster issuer using this email address and storing the private key pair in the 
let's encrypt staging and I'm creating one for production as well and as you can see the server is different so staging URL is good for testing to make sure and the production URL is good so that you don't hit the rate limit so you only use production URL when you need it alright so there we have it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy that code There you go. Great. So let's just check. By now, you should have the cluster issuer. Uh, cluster issuer in the cluster. And as you can see, everything seems to be working okay. All right. Just check the secrets. Apologies. So you're going to be in the cube system namespace. There we go. That's the token, and everything seems to be fine the other two tokens are here which is the let's encrypt production and let's encrypt staging so now that we're done with that i think we're ready to go good to go okay so the first thing or the before we deploy uh, a sample deployment because we need to deploy a sample deployment to actually make sure that our code works i will need us to make sure that our domain that we're going to use is pointing to the cluster and in my own case I'm going to be using a domain called iamchuka.com which is my blog but I'm going to use uh, um, a subdomain called echo.chuka.com all right so right now while my account is loading up I'm going to get the echo server TLS file so what I need you guys to do is also get the content and I'm going to get that here. We're going to modify that in a bit. But in the meantime, let's go to our droplets. So the domain I'm going to use is called uh, echo.kx at chocoophili.com. Oh, sorry, I'm just going to call it echo.chocoophili.com. Okay, echo. .com. So I'm going to point that to my Kubernetes cluster. I'm going to change the time to live so I can get up and running as quickly as possible. Now I have done that. So right now, this should point to my default backend, all right, without any HTTPS because there's no application deployed there. So this should be working, all right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have to deploy um, a sample uh, deployment. And what we're going to do here is on lines 45, no, lines 49 and lines 52. I'm going to modify the domain names there. So essentially what I'm telling the uh, um, cert manager right here is, if the, the, the important lines to note is line 45 here, which says use the cluster issuer for let's encrypt production. So let's encrypt production, that's the cluster issuer for it here, which we described here. And what we're saying is create an SSL certificate for echo.chukofili.com with its uh, and save the secret. Uh, that's the certificate permission file. and. Um, this is CRT and the, C the permission and this public file key file in uh, a secret named echo server TLS prod and then create um, a regular ingress rule that points uh, echo.chukofilio.com to echo server. All right, so this is standard deployment. It's pretty much standard stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply that configuration file and hope everything works okay. All right. Okay. The uh, only thing I seem to be interested in right now is to see if I um, get all 
in the namespace echo server. All right, as you can see, the deployment seems to be working. The echo server part seems to be working. I specified three replicas. Um, okay, everything seems to be a okay. I'm just gonna check the ingress. See if that was created as well. Oh, yep, everything was created. Okay, all right. Now, before I move forward. I'm going to check certificates and all right yeah um just check all name spaces okay so there's just one certificate I'm going to describe it So, I believe the domain has been issued successfully. Um, and here we go. So, I think everything is good. Um, yeah, where was this? So, let's just go make sure that everything worked okay. Well, it says service unavailable. All right, we are good. <laughs> we are good. All right, so as you can see, a certificate from Let's Encrypt has been vended. As you can see, Let's Encrypt Authority to expire 22nd of August, um, which is the standard, uh, which is three months. July, August, yeah, before it gets expired, and everything seems to be working okay. So that's, in a nutshell, how to automatically vend SSL certificates. All right, see how easy it was. So next time you have a new deployment and you specify your ingress file, all you have to do is make sure you add this annotation, which says let's encrypt production. Make sure you add the TLS configuration, telling it where, uh, which domain you want to get SSL for, and where you want to save the secret, and everything should just automatically work. Thanks guys for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, uh, I'm on Twitter. My name is Chukofili on Twitter, on Instagram, Chukofili on Medium, it's Chukofili. Um, yeah, and thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Chukofili as well. Have a great day guys.